Hi, Zach Pater here, River Valley Marina, River Valley Power and Sport of Red Wing. What a beautiful boat to take you through today. This here is the 2019 AR240 from Yamaha, an absolutely value-packed boat inside and out. Take a quick look at the outside here. You'll notice it's got that nice black bottom, white sides, white deck shear, that beautiful black windshield, the black tower with that matching black bimini. Very, very cool looking boat. Very nice graphics on the outside. They're loud, they're exciting. Gives it a very good, very sharp look on this here AR240. Yamahas are definitely a value-packed package all around and they come with their own tandem axle color match trailer. Very, very cool. We're going to take a jump inside and look at the good stuff. So as with all Yamahas, I think we definitely have to step uh, right here on the swim platform. Take a look at this multi-tiered platform, swim ladder in the middle, nice cup holders, stereo controls, nice backrest, and they do a good job with those backrests at making them into a nice storage space as well. Simply flip them open and you've got a nice spot to quick and easily grab those ropes and tie lines um, or ski ropes and have a nice organized place to put them. Yamaha has definitely put a lot of thought into this AR240. One thing in particular I really like is how they set up this table in the back. This table can also be used in the cockpit but really adds kind of nice function to this swim platform area. So let's take a walk on board. I think the first thing you notice is this nice walk through transom. Uh, very nice, very easy to access. Gives you a nice center walk through right into the cockpit. I like the way they did the big captain seats. You can rotate them around. So when you are just sitting around anchored out, it's nice and easy for everyone to just sit around and kind of be together. Take a look at the amount of seating back here. It's absolutely phenomenal. How, how wide this boat is and how deep the boat is. They do a great job by tucking the speakers behind, nice grab handles, cup holders tucked underneath, the filler cushion there to really make it into one nice large area. I think it's also worth noting too how they designed that starboard side forward facing seats to sit backwards but then it can also lounge back as well. I think definitely another area we need to focus on when we look at Yamaha boats are things like their seats. They're nice. They're big. I love the flip down armrest. We showed you how they can tilt backwards. But there's definitely no lack of luxury when it comes to their helm seat and their uh, passenger seat. They're big. They're nice. They're comfortable. And, uh, you know, really a substantial part of making that day on the water comfortable. And the captain's seat also has the flip-up bolster, giving you a little more legroom or that ability to sit up a little higher and look over the windshield. So we're going to work our way forward, but first let's take a look at this dash. What a clean-cut, good-looking dash. I really like the way Yamaha does that Connect setup right there. Uh, this particular one with the uh, GPS, it's got your stereo. Uh, your basic functions, turning the lights on and off. They also did a good job with that cell phone holder there right in the middle. Cup holder, you have the uh, joystick controls for the Connect system. Throttles and shifters are down below, nice and convenient. You also have cup holders down underneath, tucked out of the wind. Just a very well thought out, very simple but very well thought out dash. Tilt wheel, keys are easy to access, just very, very elegant looking dash. We're going to work our way forward, head up into the bow of the boat. This is where Yamaha really seems to excel, is with making sure that bow area is nice and big and wide all the way forward. Um, they do a nice job with their detail work, their railings, the speakers, the cup holders. Do a good job with the footing there, so if you are going to the beach. And you also have a ladder out the bow as well. Ladders all self-contained, held up uh, with a nice fiberglass lid with a nice strut in it, three rung heavy duty stainless ladder. That compartment also doubles as the anchor holder as well. As we take a look at the bow, another thing to kind of point out is it does come with the uh, bow filler cushions. I think that's kind of important. Whenever we talk Yamaha, we talk about a feature loaded boat. The bow filler cushions are a prime example, along with things like that transom stereo, stereo remote, the uh, bimini top, the tower, the connect system, 
tilt wheel, flip up bolster seats, the snap in flooring, all those things are standard valued features on a Yamaha. I think it's worth noting as well how you can actually pop the forward filler cushion out and it can make into a backrest so you can actually fill the entire bow area in so you got a nice backrest all the way across. So we talk about how big this boat is, how roomy it is, how, much, uh, how many people you can bring on board. Whenever you have a lot of people, you have a lot of stuff. Well, Yamaha, when it comes to their storage, is phenomenal. Take a look at how they did these flip-up seats in the front. The seats are easy to flip up, easy to access, but you have nice, wide, deep compartments to get a lot of stuff in. As we work our way back, you'll see that under the starboard side, the uh, compartment here, nice, big, and deep. And on the port side, you've got a very nice big storage compartment that if you wanted to, could actually be used to ho hold a uh, porta potty to give you a day head. Another nice area with Yamaha is the way they do their center uh, floor storage here. It's all gasket sealed, it's held up by a nice hydraulic strut, but it's nice and it's finished, it's deep. Um, really a great place, whether you're just using it to store water skis, uh, anchor lines, everything that you need can fit into that center locker nice and easy. Also take a look on the uh, starboard side under that back seat. You've got an area that can hold the uh, cooler. That cooler could also go in the uh, head compartment as well, but that's a nice easy spot for it, but very ample storage in that compartment as well. And I think it's worth noting, not necessarily as a storage compartment, but how easy the batteries are to access and the battery switches. Very easy to get to. I know some boats, they can just be absolutely hidden and hard to get to. This one here, right under that port aft seat, very simple to get to. Before, uh, before we left you, I wanted to at least take a quick peek inside this motor compartment. This here's got the 1.8 liter high output Yamahas. As nice as it is from a power and economic standpoint, it's very compact, very clean, very well done. Um, I think it's worth noting, you know, they do a good job. And you can see how they put all that nice sound deadening insulation around it to keep the boat as quiet as possible. So that there is a quick video walkthrough of this AR240. Again, dollar for dollar, I think this is a challenging boat in that 24 foot segment to beat. Again, I'm Zach Pater here at River Valley Marina, River Valley Power and Sport of Red Wing, and I'd be glad to answer any questions you have or stop in and take a look at this AR240, and I appreciate you taking the time to view our video.